Hello, operators. Let's call this rambling from the range truck, shall we? Oh, shout out to Sorensen Saad. Good folk. I just hurt some people's feelings, and I didn't mean to. I had a conference call with some well-meaning people who were asking questions about driving in these uncertain times. Made reference to some articles going back as far back as MySpace talking about driving in hazardous environments. I think I hurt their feelings. They were asking about steel wheel tires, toe straps, up armored vehicles, and I made it very clear to them, if you're not an operator, and you're in a place that might have some bad things happening, you need not be driving near there. You need to be doing some advanced work. Where might these bad people be? Where might these gatherings be that the roads are blocked? Don't go there, don't drive there. Don't let your kids drive there. It's that simple. What would I do today, today's environment? I'm researching. Yes, these guys and gals can pop up anywhere. If I see something that's not safe or I perceive as a threat, what am I doing? I'm getting out of there. Where I live, it's legal to make a U-turn anywhere unless posted. Guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make a U-turn. I'm gonna give them wide berth. I don't need to practice J-turns, bootleg turns, and those things, because if I do my research, I have a pretty good idea where these bad operators, actors, are gonna be. So I'm gonna avoid them by driving elsewhere. If I had minor children in the house, I'd take their damn car keys. I'm not letting anybody out driving with all this stuff going on if you're in a place that has some of this bad behavior. Why am I not using those trigger words? Because I don't want to get caught up in the algorithm to get my sh** pulled down. Like Shooter Rugi and some other good people who have their stuff taken down. So yes, be vigilant, be cautious, and don't drive where you might be in harm's way.